Today, I received an announcement of a lifetime. At 4 o'clock today, the President of the United States informed me that I will receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom. I want to thank him for this honor and to say that I am deeply, deeply touched to join this group uh, on November 14th of 17 Americans to receive this award. For the President to do this uh, is just been something that I could have never anticipated. I've been very deeply honored to serve the people of Maryland and to this nation. For the people of Maryland, I thank you because I could have never had the opportunity for such an, to serve in the public in such a way had they not honored me with their confidence and trust by voting for me. I'm so thankful for the opportunity that they've given me to actually serve my state and my country. Yes, I am the longest serving woman in the Senate, but for me, it's not how long I've served, but how well I've tried to serve. To me, service is about being connected to my constituents, to staying close to them, to make sure they don't fall between the cracks, to look out to their day-to-day -day needs, whether a social security check or helping a veteran, working on issues like college affordability. For me, service has been rooted in the values that I learned in my home and in my community. I think today of my father and mother, who worked so hard that my sisters and I would get an education. They owned a small neighborhood grocery store, and every day at 6 o'clock in the morning, my father would walk across the street from our row house home and open up the door of his grocery store and say, good morning, can I help you? Well, that's the way I was raised, and that's what I carried with me every single day, which is, good morning, can I help you? But they also saw that my sisters and I had a fantastic education. I had the opportunity to go to Catholic schools, and there the sisters taught us about leadership and service, but actually they focused on the values of our faith. Love your neighbor, care for the sick, worry about the poor, always insist that neighbors should help neighbor, and that it was better to light one little candle than to curse the darkness. We were also raised to believe in the American dream. My great-grandmother came to this country from Poland. She had little money in her pocket. Women didn't even have the right to vote when she arrived, but she had a big dream in her heart that if you worked hard, played by the rules, life would be better for you. I never, she never thought coming as she did, that her own great-granddaughter would one day be a United States Senator. But then, that's only in America would my story have been possible. Only in America do we have this incredible right to speak your mind. I got into politics as a protester. They wanted to put a highway through the neighborhood in which I grew up and some other neighborhoods in the city. I organized the Hell No, We Won't Go Committee and took on City Hall. But you know what's so great about this country? In others, they put you in jail and beat you. In this country, they sent me to the to city council and I beat the political bosses. This is an amazing country. Our constitution, the freedoms guaranteed in it, the freedom of assembly, the freedom to speak, and most of all, the freedom to serve, to be all that you can be, has been an marvelous gift. In a few days, I will be honored by the President of the United States, but the honor has always been to be here. I never dreamed such an honor would come my way, nor did I seek it. I'm so e deeply honored to be touched by this, and I'm honored to be the people, to be among the people that will get this award. 